Hey guys, it's Chuggers here. This is episode, uh, I think 35. I just got in this world, so everything's still generating. Uh, last episode, we made our elevator. Let's test it out again. Yeah, it's not, it's not a 100% working thing. It gets the job done. I might need to hide this, but I don't really care. We have like a down mount. To get down, you're gonna have to do that. Yeah, like yeah, like, jump and press space at the same time. And uh, if you weren't watching last episode, this is uh, the furnace room. It's pretty cool. I'm working on it, the forge. That's what I'll call it. The game is much louder than it should be. Sorry about that. Alright. I gotta watch out for this hole. Alright, yeah, I got this all done. I think what I'll do is do like that. Alright. Seems good. Uh, so now I got up and... Why'd I go up the ladder when there's a thing? Whatever, I don't care. So now we need lots of cobblestone. Uh, crafting benches downstairs. Oh, I guess it still hurts me. Eh, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Alright. 32. And then... These are all the furnaces in the room. Uh, there are 64 furnaces. So that's uh, 64 stacks or just under or just over one chest of uh, items. It'll be able to smelt at a time. So now all I need is uh, coal, which I have tons of. Now, what do I do for a crafting table? And I could always just like line a wall with them. That'd be kind of weird, though. All right. And what I could do, as soon as they get a, as soon as they get a, uh, what is it called? Potion making, potion room thing down. As soon as, as soon as I start making one of those, I could probably branch it out into these, this room. Or actually, I can't do that because this is a tree farm. How about that's the tree farm? I can maybe start branching out into this room, into these rooms. So the forge can be even bigger and more packed with stuff. Although there is a lot of room in here for stuff like that. Hmm. I don't know. So now we need to get a wall going up in here. You know what I was thinking? I think I was thinking just not even have a wall for these uh, for this forge here. I kind of want to make it like you can just walk right in. Like, there's going to be a room here and a room up here, but this whole thing is just open to walk through. And that's probably what will happen. If you're just walking down the hallway, like, ooh, look, the forge. Nice, big, and open. Now, I want to have a bit of decoration, too. So, I mean, there is that. I think what I could do is just... I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of somehow using a lava and uh, iron bars because of course it is like a forge but I can't because the ceiling is made of wood and I could probably sneak some in over here but it'd be kinda weird actually what I could do this could all be iron bars and that would help keep the uh, size of the room yeah that's what I'll do okay I need windows and iron bars look at this it's just, a, it's just a way of habit. I could have been here, like, at least a minute ago. Alright. 64. How much glass do we have left? Alright. Well, my inventory is pretty uh, unorganized. One thing I like about not being on the top floor is you don't have to make a ceiling with, like, a million glass. So, I mean, there's that. 
Also, I like being uh, under this room here because I don't gotta light up a room over here. And what I could do. What I could do. Wow! B. Where's my inventory? I just get this. I could. Whatever this room is, I could continue this uh, floor lighting. So it would look even amongst the whole ceiling. And that's probably what I will do, because... I don't know. The ceiling doesn't look as good from below. It doesn't look as good when it's hard to see that it's a pattern. Of, right? It kind of just seems like a random placing of lighter and darker wood. But, I don't know. Let me place it again. I'm going to be needing to get more sand. I think it's about time we uh, enchant another pickaxe, or another uh, a shovel, is what it's called. Kind of, I don't know, I'm losing track of my words today. It's time to enchant the shovel, I think. Alright, well that's that part of the room. Yeah, I'm thinking something's going to have to go back here. Maybe some sort of snow gathering room. I don't know. Or up here. While I'm up here, I think I'll organize my inventory. I'm going to make some iron bars downstairs. Because there's no crafting table anywhere else in the whole house. Sixty four is good enough. You know what? One thing I hate about one thing I hate about these uh, iron bars is they're so difficult to place. You gotta like be precise and on there. And also the way they the way they're shaped doesn't really help it either. Like uh how they just kinda do that. It's kind of annoying. that, that, and the door will be here. I think I'll like an iron door to fit with the, uh, yeah, I will. I'll have an iron door to fit with the iron bar, look for it. I'm going to have to somehow incorporate lava. Not sure how I will, though, because there isn't, act there isn't much space at all. I mean, I can't put it up here, so that's like one block down, so we have like this to the floor. I can't put it in the floor because it'll go down below it. I can really only go like from here to here with lava decorations. I mean, I could put like a cover over this. Actually, let's see how this would look. Probably should fix the glass outside before I do this, but you know, who really cares? Alright, now I have this whole thing here. How would I? I'm not sure how I could do this. Yeah, like this. So this would be a good idea. Then I'll cage in. Yeah, this will look. This will look all right. I'll put lava in here, so then you can see lava from the outside and uh, from in here. I'll give like a source of light. Hopefully, it won't burn this whole house down. All right. I still gotta make a door area for this too. And I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna do after I get this room done. I noticed lately I've been picking up a habit too that I'm like uh talking in what is it? I'm talking in maybe like groups of words. I'm not sure why. It's a habit I've picked up, I guess. I think it's because uh, sometimes I don't really know what I'm trying to say. It takes me a second to think of what I'm trying to say. There'll be a um, pressure plate activated. Because you can't really fit doors on these, you know. Uh, not sure if you could hear that my cat just meowed. Alright. 
Now that'll work here. My, my main concern about these pressure plates is that when I'm going to be walking into this room, I'll open up the door here on accident. I mean, it's not really much of a big deal at all. But, you know, I mean, I, I'm not ever going to make that mistake over here. Just over here is what is making me worried. But I guess I'll just live with it. There needs to be a glowstone here. Look at that glowstone. Alright. Nice looking house. We need to walk through here. Is it a jail? Nope, it's the forge. And what I could do, actually, I think what I'll do is there's going to be like a lava pool here. Then I'll replicate this, but with lava in the middle instead. Now I'm going to need a bunch of lava for this, for that project that I'm saying right now. So I think we might need to go hunt for lava. So what I'll do right real quick is uh, empty my inventory, and I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Alright, we're going to go on a hunt for lava. Where's the wood products? Otherwise known as food. No, it's in the food chest, I guess. Oh, not much left. I cooked some chicken. Do we have any? No, I guess I got it all. We're out of wheat, too. I guess it's as good a time as ever to uh, plant the wheat farm and not let it die. I'll be right back while I do that. Alright, planted it all. Now, last time I left here, I made the mistake of closing the doors, which actually turns all the lights off. So, yeah, it was a big mistake last time I did that. And now I'm not going to make the same mistake again. So now what we got to do is make the slow descent. And really quick, kill these guys. Because I feel as though it's about time for a new sword. And I'm almost out of sword. And that gives me an excuse to use sword. And I'll be right back while I do this. Alright, I broke the sword. Time to get my new one. So happy to see it. I think I might use what's left of the, uh, what is it, the uh, iron one. It's not like uh, I can't go and get another looting sword, and that's the only reason I've been keeping it, because of the looting aspect. I'm going to use what's left of this, and then I'll be using this. Looting three. I mean, it's crappy. What does it have? Sharpness three, alright. I really should be really. I really only should be killing these guys with uh, like stone swords anyway, because I mean they're one hit kills with almost anything I hit them with, as long as it's a sword. I think. All right, I'll be right back again. All right, I'm back. Didn't get to use all of the sword that I wish I could. Look at you, Enderman. Look at how cool you are. No, you're not. You took my gravel. Wait, is that my gravel? No, wait, yeah, it is. Where'd you get it from? Why did I make my house out of, like, the most vulnerable materials? I don't know. Okay. Wow, look at you. I think you're awesome. Hiding in my own base. Right. Wow! Egg City! I'm gonna spawn a few chickens and maybe I'll get my first harvest. My sword. Well, it still is, uh... Wow. Egg City. Egg City, that's what this place is. Welcome to Egg Town, population. One and a half stacks, one and a half stacks. I'm missing chickens, let's go. Alright. You're dead. You're dead. I should have kept, like, the ancestor chickens. So I can always remember, like, the, the first ones around. You're dead. You're dead. You three are all dead. Okay, good. Alright, this is all I'm gonna kill. That got me 12. I'll go for uh, 4 more, so I get an even stack of 15, 16. Alright, 16. I even got more eggs in the process. Guys, Egg City. Alright. I mean, I, I said I was going to get a bunch of lava a while ago, but, you know, I think I'll finally do it right now, after I, uh, cook this stuff. So I'll see you guys in just a second. 
Alright, so I'm gonna leave that uh, chicken on the back burner until I uh, get back. I'll be fully cooked by then. Uh, how much stuff is built up over here? I just want to use the rest of this sword already, so I can start using my good one, my good diamond sword. I don't really like to waste swords, and I feel like if I'm not going to even use this at all, I mean, it'll be a waste, and it is an enchanted sword, so I don't see what the use is in not using it. Okay, good, we're good. Well, wow, that's good. Now we can go hunting for lava, otherwise known as, it's like right next door, in the caving system over here. There we are. Here's my baby. Let's run down the stairs. And, uh... Yeah, let's get a few slimes on the way. Because, uh... Seth, out how good my looting sword does on these guys. Not very bad. Not bad. I mean, it's not the height of... Wow, is that like four or something? I love looting swords. Wow, I got 20. I killed like five baby slimes. This isn't deep enough. Let's go down to the bottom of the strip mines. There's tons of lava down there. And I should know I fell in it multiple times. Alright, any of these really lead you to lava, but uh, these lead you directly to it. Hi, lava. <laughs> All right. I like the stackable bu buckets part of this game now. Come on, two more. Come on, come on, come on. yes. All right, we got some. We got top tier lava now. Let's just return home, and I'll see you guys in just a second while I run home. Sorry for all the jump cuts, but you know, whatever. I do what I want. I'm not even back home yet, and this place is massive. I mean, look at how big it is. I feel like I shouldn't even go to, like, the bottom three layers, and I should only float the top, because I kind of like the crossy thing of this. I like this bottom part. Because, I, I mean, if I feel it all the way up to, like, this point, I feel as though... It wouldn't look as realistic, and I mean, this doesn't look realistic in the first place, but I, it doesn't look, I don't think it would look right if it was all being held up by, like, one support, but, like, instead of that, but all this stuff. Although it is, like, the same one support, I think it looks a lot more cool this way. It took 12 episodes to build this. 13, I think, even. kind of forgot the episode counts. That was a long time ago. So, uh, let's try out my new looting sword. It says looting 3 and not looting 2. Didn't really notice anything. Hey, you. One of that. Wow! It's a lot of stuff. I already had some from the other one. I can't really check it out without glitching my opinion, but yeah. So let's put away some of the mob drops. Found. Uh, they say I'm an expert at opening doors, because I am. I am an expert at that. Gunpowder. We have more than enough to make a full stack of TNT. One of these days we're going to do something with that. Uh, I'm thinking about making a reed farm to farm for emeralds and have, like, infinite emeralds. is there in here? Arrows. Keep the iron and everything else with me. Slime balls go in here. Got almost a full stack. Seeds are going there. I need stone bricks. I need iron bars. I need stone brick stairs and half slabs. Alright. Okay, I need to quickly put all these lava buckets down and like here. Here. Okay, I need to put them in like a four square. I need it I don't know, I need to 
Actually, think before I do all this stuff, because I need, like, the maximum amount of spread. Alright. Now, that looks pretty good, except for up here. I could probably make that look better. Uh-oh. Well, that's not going to spread yet, so let's do a... Alright. That looks pretty nice. Just gotta hope it doesn't, you know, break everything outside by burning it to death. I wanna see how it looks from the outside, make sure I didn't miss a spot. Goodbye. Ooh. I don't have anything with me. Battle axe, go! Alright, so good. That's good enough. It's not like anyone's gonna really, really notice it from the outside. I don't think it comes up with the full window, but that's alright. And, uh. Also, not only will I will, uh. Keeping this shorter save me, uh. A lot of building, and it makes it look a lot more realistic. I could probably fit in an elevator a lot better now. And you might be thinking, oh wow, this would be like a waste of space. I mean, because you're already strapped for strapped for cash. And you're already uh stuck on space. Well no, we have all these rooms and that one too. I'm not sure what this one will be. This could just maybe this would just be like the potions making room. I mean it doesn't really need a big extravagant room. Alright. So we got one square, one square. One square, one square. Nope. Messed it up. One square. You know what? I actually have to put like four lava buckets down. I think I'll only put two of these because I only have enough supplies to make two of them anyway. So, yeah. Nah. Now, I might need to put, like, guardrails because it's a little dangerous to be walking around. Like, just open, exposed lava. It's pretty dangerous. But, yeah. What are they called? Stairs. I remember when they invented stairs. I hated it. No, I'm just joking, they're pretty alright. Alright. Da da. Da da. Da. Let's get out my four lava buckets. Da da. 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 Nice. Alright. This is starting to look more like a forge and less like a dumb place. Here can be what the safety bars could be. I'm pretty sure you can't fall in. Yeah. As long as I don't get hit by the flying, whatever those are going to be called, and like magma balls flying out of the lava, I guess. Alright. Alright. I think this ceiling will look fine as regular stone. Because I hate that ceiling. I don't care if it's going to be repeated or not. I like it as a floor pattern, not as a ceiling pattern. Also, I want to put these bars in. I thought, I thought it was a spook in my house that would open a door for me. But nope. It was me. On accident. There we are. Two lava spouts. Uh, yeah. I kind of like this place for, uh... Come on. I'm gonna use this corner here for crafting benches. Yeah, this will look alright. That was a spooky noise. Alright. Yeah, I think that's a good, uh, 
yeah. <laughs> kind of lost my words there. Okay, I think I, what I could do is do this one too, but I don't think it would really fit with this. Ooh, here's an idea. This one, this will actually fit too. Okay, got, got that. We uh, get rid of this. How am I supposed to place these? Damn it. I don't like... I like in Tech It how uh, if you shift, then you can uh, place blocks on these kind of things, and it won't open them when you had to place a block there with a the right click. Alright, so we got that, and we got that. Like little pillars made of stuff in there. Also equally spaced. That's that. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll enchant one more weapon and then I'll end it here. So let's get uh, 30 levels real quick and I'll see you guys in just a second. That's my favorite part. Yeah, collecting the items. Alright, see you guys in just a second again. Let me uh, let a few more spawn. I'm not a real fan of waiting. Oopsies, F3. I'm not a real fan of waiting for um level 30. I'm waiting forever. And monsters only seem to spawn. They only seem to accumulate in this trap whenever I'm busy doing something. And I sat there for about a good ten minutes. And only like two levels where the zombies or monsters came. I bet there's enough for me to get to level thirty now, is there? Alright, good. Okay. Now I can finally end the episode. Not yet. That's enchant a shovel. Uh next episode we'll probably get well, we need sand. That's why I'm enchanting a shovel. Uh, we're gonna need various supplies, I guess. Look at all this gunpowder I'm getting. Shovel. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope it's not crappy. Let's hope it's not the worst weapon I've ever seen. It's probably not gonna be a weapon, though. It's a shovel. Come on. Oh, this is perfect, actually. I kind of wish it was unbreaking, but whatever. I'll, I'll deal with it. Alright, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.